Hey, YouTubers. Um, all set up. Nice breeze on the water. Yeah. Let me show you the lake. So I'm on peg five, deep water. Some big fish come off this peg. Fish in solid bags at this point. That might change as we go along, of course. We've got bug pellets and bug coloured wafters. We've got pinks and whites, half tones. So I'm using them to start off. So here we go. Um, high pressure this wind is lovely it's pushing right in here look it's a great dam just, just give it a walk around here so I've got a tarp with me so I might put a tarp up tonight I have got a bivy or I might even put the bed chair in the on top of there they don't mind that. So the same fish in solid bags. Um, I got my wood burner with me. Let's just keep the images away. Got some lovely beers on the way down there. Something I haven't tried before. Um, the blue dog Elvis juice Elvis juice 5.1 and I've got life and death tropical and citrus 6.5 percent yeah so give them a whirl there yeah so I'm going uh, on the top here I might even put a tarp, look, see I got a tarp with me. Yeah, it was a lovely breeze. It's my one percent the shop. There's nobody on yet, just me. And there's one guy leaving from Peg 8. I was supposed to be on Peg 8, but they, uh, they put me in for next week, not this week, so I opted for peg five, deep water. See so how it goes, speak to you later. I'm just going to show you my solid bag rig before I tire, retire, so. Bug wafter, size four white gear puck a bit of silicone on a slip d-rig okay. supple braid inline lead tail and a three foot length of lead core Jobs are good on. What's wrong with this picture? <laughs> so here you go. I think set up on the porch. privacy happy days let's give this one a whirl 6.5 jeez it's 
potential meal for later. Nice update guys, 20 past 6, right hand rod, white bug wafter, screamed off, pulled the pod over, uh, excellent battle, wiped off both my other rods out, I am using back leads as well, um, 21 pound 14, dark, common ah mirror sorry mirror so that was on the white so I've got two white on now and one pink uh, so I can relax now and have another beer happy days What a beautiful evening. Lovely. How many beers is that? Do you drink a few mind? Nice beers, yeah. In addition to the fishing trips and the camping. <laughs> uh, just want to run you through what's in my, uh, in my solid bag. So I've got the bug pellets and I got a lot, uh, more, probably 75% boily crumb of the bug. So what I do, I got one of those Moulinex food mixer things, so I just uh, whizzes up the load and it's, it's really, really fine crumb. So most of my bag is a crumb and then there's pellets in there as well, but it's about 75% crumb. Yeah, but look at this beauty. What a beautiful evening. Stunning this. It's not too hot, you know. Beautiful. Oh, if I, I put the log on my pod because I say the fish I had, probably the only one I love. Uh, he ripped the pod over, so I just put a bit of weight on it, so. Yeah, but a uh, stunning evening. I haven't seen anybody else catching any. There's six anglers on, by the way. Yeah, beautiful evening. Love it. I've made a boo boo. I've got my cooking pot instead of my wood burner. So I was going to bring the wood burner to get rid of all the midges. I bought the bloody cooking pot. Simple reason in the same kind of bag. Ah, there you go. Tea cooked. Took about five minutes. Steak and salad. One thing you never see me doing is eating takeaways at home or out on the bank. Waste of money, shit food. Tapas, I'm just about to put a film on here, so I'll uh, speak to you in the morning. Nick's looking for a pip, eh? Speak to you in the morning. Morning guys, uh, it's 8 o'clock now. Uh, no fish for anyone last night. Lots of, lots of things happening. Um, the chap who was fishing next to me, well, two pegs up yes, yesterday, um, he had a terrible night. Uh, he cracked off three times. I think one of them might have even been his rod, the noise. Yes, we had a terrible night, but um, no fish came out. But Everyone on this bank now, so, you know, everyone on this bank now is gone. You know, we're on till three o'clock, we've decided to go. I think we all be frustrated at uh, not catching, it came we were expecting. So he's gone. 
Uh, the, the chop on peg 11 and the chop on peg 12 have also gone. So there's only three of us on now, including me. So my options are open today up till 3 o'clock. But I've just put three, three fresh bags on now. Just seen fish crashing there. I have seen a fish, that's why I haven't just have to move straight away because as I was pulling up one of the bags out my right hand rod which is there a lump launched itself straight out the water you might be able to see the the bubbles where it came out look there so I'm going to fire for a bit but I'm keeping my eyes out I've got loads of options today, loads. It's only, only till three o'clock, so you know it's a short window, but I can move in a flash, like, and that's what I'll do. I'm prepared to do it at any time. So keep updated, guys. Just gonna knock some breakfast up now. Um, I'm gonna have an omelette. Got some chopped veggies in there, peppers, mushrooms, onions. Some lovely tomatoes there with some rock salt over the top and I've got my eggs, three eggs with salt and pepper mixed up in there already. Breakfast is served. Voila. Just finishing my breakfast and uh left hand rod ripped off. We got a common. There you go. He's common in the net, about 16, 17 pounds. One thing I do at this point, I just spike the line above the lead core. So you need loop to loop. Connect another bag. Put a fresh loop on, obviously. Connect another bag. Put it straight back on the spot. And back fish in. Set another take. Roach. <laughs> Just coming to the end of the session now. Just got to put the rods in. Cracking session. Two fish off the deck in high pressure. I'll take a uh, solid bags. Don't use them often, as I say. Uh, yeah, enjoy it. It's quick. It's really quick, and you know, you know, on the go, you bump, bump, straight back out there, like loop to loop. Yeah, I really enjoy fishing solid bags today. Right, let's head home to Lily Buen, and I'll, uh, I'll catch you all next week. Ta-da, guys.